Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel, The Traveling Blossom Tarot, where adventure meets the tarot and growth is in the cards. My name is Dream Lynn. I'm so happy to have you here. If you're returning, thank you so much. And I just want to extend my deepest, deepest gratitude to you, Aquarius, because you really helped the channel grow. It's been amazing. So thank you so, so much. Uh, we reached over 300 followers last week, so that is just tremendous, and I, I can't do it without you, so thank you. Also want to invite you to get in on the free tarot giveaway that I host every month. Uh, you can check that out on the community tab. And last but not least, invite you over to join me and the others on Facebook Live every Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, there's always a collective message for you and free card pulls. So please come join in the fun. Without further ado, Aquarius, let's see what's going on with the energy um, for you. So if you are a uh, Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Mercury, there may be something in this message for you today. Do keep in mind, Aquarius, that timing is fluid. Past, present, and future have been simultaneously. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, Divine Mother and Father, Ancestors, and Loved Ones, Highest Energies for Aquarius, please. Take only what fits for you, resonates with you, leave everything else behind. Um, Aquarius, okay. I was starting to think, Aquarius, that you might have something on your mind that you're wanting to communicate because if you follow my channel or if you're new here, you should know that anytime my cards go quiet, there's usually something needing to be communicated. Um, and the fact that I went into a second riffle shows me that there may be something on your mind that you're just, uh, it could be just something that you're reflecting upon at this time. Maybe it's not even something that needs to be communicated outwardly, it's more inward. It's more um, something on the inside. Uh, but we have Fire Festival number 11. Uh, through flame and through song, they will rise a new dawn. So I feel like you are on um, at the start of something new, that something is about to shift. It's about to change. Like destiny could be stepping in and putting you on your soul path with that 11 there. Um, that is soul path number. It is, it is a master number. So you are certainly... Um, uh, possibly going to be mastering something very new to you, something that you've never done before. Uh, there is, um, I want you to note right here on the card, third eye energy along with the heart. There is a B right there on the third eye and the heart. So I feel like this is about balancing the, um, the heart and mind, um, the truth, you know, balancing yourself out, mind and heart. But um, the 11, that is you and in, in, um, God, universe, source, divine, whatever, working together. That's you coming in um, into harmony with them and saying, okay, well, let's do this. I'm, you know, I'm maybe I'm tired of trying to figure this out. And so I'm just going to go about and just, you know, let you take the lead, right? Let you take the lead. I'm going to work with you. I'm going to walk with you. So there is a new dawn here. There is something that is um, about to shift in your life, and I feel like you're just now starting to take the first steps. If you look, she's stepping. So I feel like she's um, coming out of the darkness and stepping into the light, stepping into something. So certainly some change here for you. Um, let's go ahead, Aquarius, dive into the cards and see what else they have to add. I'm going to be doing a Celtic spread. Uh, if you want, you can fast forward through this section. There's often, though, little messages that come through, so it's totally up to you. Totally up to you. There's a lot of fire here on this card, so it could um, be an indication that you could be dealing with a fire sign, uh, or you may want to check the fire uh, areas within your chart. There's a lot of fire there, so I feel this is about something that... Um, possibly that you feel very passionate about. Um, this is something very creative, inspiring, adventurous even. There's a lot of that fire energy right there with this card. Uh, could be Leo Sag or Aries, but um, definitely an Aries with a new beginning. It could um, also indicate with Aries, it could be movement, travel, that kind of um, energy. You could be getting ready to go out and do something, something new and different. 
possibly something that you've always dreamed about and you've always ha held it there in your heart. You've always dreamed about doing this. I feel that energy because of the heart and the mind. Like you've always dreamed about it. It's always had a place in your heart and you want to go do something new. So uh, that could be for some of you. Let's see, Aquarius. The center of it all. The present moment. Aquarius, I do not um, pull cards. I let them flip, fly, jump, do whatever they need to do to get from me to you. There's no right or wrong way, of course. Uh, it's just the way that I like to do it. So it's, you know, everybody is different. So right here at the center of it, um, as the cards are starting to come out and communicate the story here, we have um, the Eight of Swords in reverse. So I do... I do really feel that strong um, connection to the third eye and the heart and that balance, that harmony. I feel you've seen things um, clearly, um, seen uh, things in a different perspective. You know, there is that hermit energy that we were talking about earlier. So seeing things more clearly in a different perspective, freeing yourself, understanding um, that, you know, you have been possibly holding yourself back or you've allowed others to hold you back. Sometimes we do things, um, we hold ourselves back because of what others think and, and want for our lives, their expectations of us, etc. So it could be that you were um, holding yourself back a little bit and you are right here on the edge. You're releasing it. You're letting, um, wow, that card really soared up there. Um, oh, I like that. That's in the near future. That card is for the near future, and I like it. I will get to it. It's a, um, Yeah, it's really good. I like that. Um, so as I was saying right here at the heart, at the center, at the present moment, um, you may have like uh, come out of a period where you were feeling trapped because you have the Eight of Swords, but it is in reverse, so you're no longer trapped. You see clearly. You see things as it truly is. As they, um, you see things as they truly are. Okay. Let's see if I can keep this over here. <laughs> the mouse kind of gets in the way when you're spreading the cards out. But yes, you're seeing things as they clearly are. Um, how, I mean... It's been a long road. I feel like um, it's been a very long road for you. Like the path has been draining. It's been exhausting. Um, oh, wow. Okay. It's been uh, draining and exhausting and um, uh, may have taken a lot out of you, like depleted your energy, that kind of stuff. Um, you may have had to push through a lot on this path you may still be pushing through you may be pushing through quite a bit trying to you know reach those dreams we have the star here on the bottom so you may be pushing pushing through and trying to heal something or or reach those dreams or reach that goal that you've had that passion that you've had on your mind and in your heart for a very long time that you've wanted to do um but you've, you've remained um, resilient through it all. You've continued to push through. But see, it's been exhausting because you have the Nine of Wands right here that is crossing you. So even though there's this release, the release is um, um, exhausting. The entire process is exhausting, right? Um, it's, it, it can sometimes be... Um, very difficult to to accept things about ourselves you know to see things um in a different light especially when they revolve or regard us right um and i do feel like um this this path that you've been on may have been part of your journey but this path that you've been on that you didn't always see things so clearly, especially in regards to yourself. That's what I really get because the Eight of Swords is right here at the um, present moment and it's in reverse. And um, that is about self-entrapment when it's, you know, in the upright. Um, but this is you. It's here being in the reverse. It's like you've released something. You've come to some kind of acceptance. You've seen something clearly and now you've come to some sort of acceptance about it. 
um, in the recent past, you have the world card. So definitely you've been uh, um, closing out a, a chapter. You've been ending something. You're walking away from something. You're leaving a chapter behind. You're done with it. You've learned all the lessons. You've, you know, utilized everything. Um, you're done with this energy. So you're walking away from something in the recent past. And um, whatever it is that you walked away from, could have also, you know, been very draining, and you may have to, you may have had to accept um, some things that weren't so wonderful, right? W weren't so great about it. Um, what is crowning you is the Six of Cups. Um, so nostalgia, old friends. Uh, your energy is kind of in the past. It's it's because uh, it's crowning you. You know, you have this present moment where you're you're reaching this level of acceptance, and um, and you know your energy is depleted likely through the process, but yet your energy is oh shit, sorry my <laughs> technical difficulty. Sorry, you're gonna have that in there, but yeah, um, Mercury retrograde. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm just going to leave it there. We're just going to blame Mercury because, yeah, it's a connection thing. Um, but as I was saying, crowning you, you have the Six of Cups. So there's something uh, that you're thinking about or holding in your heart regarding the past, about the path that you just walked out of, the chapter that you just closed. Um, there is something that you're holding on to. Um, you know, it could be even you where you um, come into this acceptance where because the six of cups is childhood so this could be about you accepting your inner child or accepting your um, childlike tendencies or or um, personality or things like that something within yourself it could be that you're you went through this um, journey and you uh, uh, kind of like touched into your past into your life and then um, brought back some things that that were more maybe easier funner adventurous right because you have this fire festival right here that's crowning you that is more adventurous you know because when you're a child you're not afraid of nothing I mean maybe the boogeyman you know but you're really not afraid of a lot you're you're very adventurous you're very um curious and and all of that so I feel like you may have um really tapped into something from your childhood within your inner being and brought that back and it has something to do with um possibly adventure because we have the nine of wands there's um you know that's crossing you um there is a lot of energy here which I'll get to um we have the fool in here and things like that so there's some energy here that suggests uh an adventure um, to me so I feel like this is um, some sort of part of you that you brought back to help you on this next leg of your journey um, how are you feeling about it well you're like I said you're feeling um, exhausted although emotionally you're feeling you're feeling pretty good about it you have the Queen of Cups down here at the heart of it so you're really um, you're really emotionally invested. This passion, this dream, whatever it is that you have that you want to do, this new acceptance, excuse me, of yourself, of your life, whatever it is, however it fits for you, you, um, you it's very near and dear to your heart. You're really, really holding it close. And you're, um, you're really, uh, I think that, I feel like that you feel this will fulfill your cup, that this will complete you in some way, that this will add, uh, some sort of um, new life, new life, new zest um, to your world, right? You're holding it very dear. Um, you're ready for this new opportunity. It's like you're sitting here, the um, Queen of Cups right here. She's sitting there against that tree. She's got her hand extended out to the little butterfly. Here, have a drink. And the butterfly is coming up. So she's very... Um, uh, you know, intuitive, um, 
down to earth, very uh, animals, you know, probably uh, come up to her and stuff. But she's looking for, she's waiting for that new opportunity. Butterflies represent new opportunities. So you're ready for this. You're ready to nurture it and to feed this. You're ready to pour your heart and your spirit and your soul into whatever this is that you're wanting, this new um, part of your path. There's a lot of um, great energy there. Outside influences, external influences, what you have here is um, we have the moon in reverse. Now, the moon is often about secrets, you know, things that are hidden, that kind of stuff. But here, being in reverse um, and being external influences, this could be um, people within your realm, people within your community, within your family, your friends, whatever, being a little bit confused about possibly what you're really wanting. What are your um, intentions? Maybe they feel like you're deceiving yourself. Like um, maybe you're wanting to go after some dream and they're not very supportive is what I really get right here with this confusion. It's, it, you know, it's um, the moon in reverse. It's fear. So, you know, a lot of people have difficulty stepping into the unknown, um, stepping out on a limb, you know, going for an adventure and just throwing caution into the wind. A lot of people have trouble with that. So I feel like externally you might face a lot of difficulties with people um, trying to um, pers like sway, trying to sway you from your hopes and your dreams. Um, I feel like there's a lot of uh, energy that um, in your world. You know, the moon. The moon is Cancer energy. It's it's fourth house. You know, stuff. Uh, I'm just going to the. I'm being drawn to the fourth house. So it's you know it's family. It's uh, Cancer is nurturing, protective. It's you know the home. It's the home space. So I feel like um, right here, there's there could be a lot of that energy. Um, possibly within the home or with within your family where people may be looking at you very confused and like well what 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 are they up to I don't understand I'm so confused like where the hell did this come from all of a sudden there's this new dream this new passion or this new desire and maybe it's not new you know to it's not new to you right Aquarius it's not new to you it's just new to everyone else it's new to everybody else and everyone else is kind of like just sitting there like confused and thinking okay is, is uh, Aquarius deceiving themselves is you know and they're a little bit afraid they could be afraid that um, you know especially if you're in a, in a relationship or something they could be fear that they might lose you in the process or something should you go out I feel an adventure here I really do and I'll get to that in a minute um, but I feel like that they could you know there could be some fear there there's fear within like the home space I just feel that uh, with that moon coming out there now, um, in your hopes, wishes, dreams, and fears, you have the Knight of Swords. So I feel like uh, you're ready to pounce. You're ready to go. You're ready to move forward, you know. The Knight of Swords, um, any of the Knights, you know, it's forward movement. Now, the Knight of Swords, though, he is one of the quickest uh, Knights. You know, he moves the fastest. He's, he's like the Knight of Wands a lot. There's that impulsivity right this guy is really impulsive though so he's ready to pounce he thinks with the mind and he's like boom ready to go you know it's sword energy so gemini libra aquarius um but you in the mind you might be ready to go but there's still that balance that needs to take place with your heart and mind you need to balance out the emotions and uh the thoughts of it all the ideas of it all the outside influences that kind of stuff you might have to balance out this situation with um, people within your family or something. You might have to go over it. You know, there may be a lot of discussions about it. It might be something that somebody's, you know, not wanting you to do or something like that. And, um, you know, so, so I think you're ready to pounce. I think you're ready to go. I think you're ready to do something. You're ready, like I say, you're ready for an adventure. You're ready for something new. It might be something new um, and creative like AI, you know, because AI is here. AI is here, and this is uh, the Knight of Swords. So it is like online information, online communication, communicating new ideas. You could even be talking with other people about these new ideas. Um, 
whatever it is and but I really do feel like this is a uh, more of a personal thing you know because right here at the center you have the eight of swords in reverse and uh, you know with the eight of swords it's always like a self entrapment so there's the self and the number eight is the number of the self so I feel like um, you know uh, this is more about a personal journey for you uh, not so much as on the spotlight. Now it could be, it could be, maybe you're wanting to jump out there. Maybe you're wanting to create some sort of platform or maybe have ideas for something new, something different. Uh, and you're wanting to put it out there. And if that's the case, then go for it, put it out there, definitely put it out there. Um, but I feel like, uh, right now, you know, um, right here with your hopes, dreams, wishes, and fears, you're, you are very opinionated. I feel like you're sharing it. I feel like you're saying, okay, taking a stand is what I really feel. I feel like you're getting ready to take a stand and say, okay, well, look, this is my life and my journey, and I need to do this for me. The number 11, I need to do this for me. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hurt you or or hinder you or anything like that, but I have to do this for me. Can you please support me? You know, with that moon there. Can you please support me? Um, can you please help me out here? Now, as I was saying, there's that need for that balance. And right here, um, in your advice from Spirit, you have temperance. You have temperance right here. Uh, so Spirit is saying to alchemize, to balance it out, to, um, you know, get it straight. What exactly, like, maybe it's about devising the plan you know which way do I go how do I start this where do I begin that kind of stuff it could be something like that so um, right here spirits advice is to you know to um, balance it out get centered balance it decide you know um, I feel like there's a tear here like you're being torn between something you want to do or something you want to create and something that that you may have wanted for a very long time like i was saying in the beginning there was that energy of something you've wanted for a while you've carried it around and um there is this this break here where you're being torn between what you want for yourself and what you're wanting to do and you know and all that and then uh what others want for you i really do feel strong energy of others with this uh queen of cups down here that's more water energy um so you could be dealing with a water sign as well, Scorpio, um, Pisces, or uh, Cancer. But I do feel there is a lot of water energy, and this is a very emotional thing. So you're, you know, you're probably wanting to tread lightly and how it's communicated, that kind of stuff. Um, however, it, you know. I mean, I feel like you're trying to communicate it with great empathy and care and, and concern for, you know, for the other being. And um, so I got really excited when your future cards started coming out. We have um, the Ace of Swords, new ideas. So I do feel like you're at this breakthrough, this epiphany where where something's about to really start taking place. Um, you, you already came to the realization back here today. You already came to the realization, the acceptance that something was different, right? And now here's where in the future you start to see it. You start to um, have the breakthroughs, have the ideas, figure things out. Um, that's the Ace of Swords. So it's a brand new opportunity, something you've never done before, nothing, something you've never seen. Um, it's great clarity is right here great clarity and in the future outcome what we have here is we have the empress in the um, reverse with the emperor in the upright divine union wow this I mean it could even be um, the, the, the um, like a breakup I mean I, I have to call it because it's here so it could even be about a breakup and you going on a brand new adventure starting all over with the fool here um, the emperor energy, that's more, that's a number four, you know, uh, there's, um, a more of the foundation energy with the empress. That's a number three. So that's the nurturing, the mothering, you know, she's the mother of the, of the tarot. So I get that home environment and that energy has been playing out throughout the reading. There's something within the home and I feel like this could actually be 
breaking free, breaking away from the home, from a union, possibly a relationship, and um, going about something different, taking a whole new du um, direction, taking a leap of faith on something that you see, something you've wanted for a very long time, and you were very unsure, but then you had this clarity right here. You released it. You accepted it. You, you saw what it was and how much it meant to you and how long you had carried it. You had carried it forever with this nine of wands right here. You know, that's resilience. That's continually pushing. It's like life gives you lemons. You make lemonade and you keep pushing. You keep going. You keep going. So I feel like you've carried it with you for a long time. Um, this could, uh, you know, I, I do feel right here um, at the at, at, as it uh, you know at the end as everything comes together as I'm looking at the uh, the um, outcome uh, this really could be about you know walking away from a foundation something that's been stable something that you've you've been in for a while and now you know you're gonna go do something different you're gonna take a leap of faith on something new. Um, this could also be about, um, new ways of, or like revamping a relationship or revamping your home life or your, your stability, your foundation, right? Um, maybe, uh, you know, cause with the Empress in reverse, you know, she's not very creative. She's not very nurturing. She's not very kind. She's actually kind of cold bitch, right? So there could have been some coldness that grew within the family or within the foundation with the emperor being there right beside her. Um, could have been some coldness, some distance, some break, you know, it happens. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And, and now there's this, um, chance for something new. There's that innocence there too with the fool. Now you had the six of cups crowning you with that innocence. So I do feel like this is something that you've um, possibly carried with childhood. Or if it is a breakup or something, you might have been childhood sweethearts. Or you may have been together for a very long time. Something like that. I'm not quite sure. Um, through it all, you're starting, you're starting new. You're starting fresh. And I feel like you're leaving a lot behind. I feel like you're leaving a whole freaking entire foundation behind. And you are starting fresh. You're starting new. You're you're seeing things differently. You see, maybe you see that, you know, hey, I can I can freaking do this better, you know, for myself, by myself, with myself, something like that. But you are definitely going to start something new. Um, there's a new dawn, remember. This, this card was crowning your energy, so there's a new dawn. Through flame and through song, there will rise a new dawn. So maybe um, uh, get out into nature, go camping, do those kind of things. Maybe bonfires, music, something like that to help you through. Um, I'm not quite sure, but maybe. All right. Let's see. What else does Spirit have for you? Um, Aquarius, if you resonate with this, please leave me a comment. I'd love to talk to you and talk with you about it. I My heart also goes out to you if you are going through any kind of breakup or challenging situation where you might be leaving behind a lot of stabili stability, um, foundation, a lot of your, your you know, yourself, your life. Um, I know how difficult that can be. But I do feel like you are getting ready to start a new chapter. You're about to go on an adventure here, is what I feel and what I see. With the um, number 11 right here, uh, overarching your energy, that's a new journey. That's the beginning of um, a soul journey. Something that you wanted to do. Something your soul needs you to do, right? Because it's a soul journey. It's something your soul needs. So I feel like it's, um, Spirit is saying the time is now. Now we had that big um, conjunction with Chiron and um, the North Node the other day, as well as Mercury retrograde meeting up with that. We had a lot going on this week, a lot of energy. So a lot of shifts in the energy. So this could have happened very recently. This could be happening, you know, right in this moment. None of this feels like it's any kind of real you know, distant past energy. It feels very current. 
Um, we have happy. Embrace your loving connection and be happy. So embrace it. Um, go after whatever it is you want. Um, Spirit is saying embrace your life. Go for it. Go for it. Follow your dreams. Embrace your loving connection. All right, what else for Aquarius, please? What else for Aquarius? Oh, <laughs> that kind of really jumped over there, didn't it? Aquarius, number seven, chariot energy, more cancer energy. So you could be dealing with a cancer. You could be dealing with a water sign, but definitely a cancer because we have that cancer energy coming in with the moon. Um, you know, we had uh, the queen of cups here. We have, uh, which Scorpio, but um, Pisces. Uh, number seven, sword, make the change. Spirit is saying it's time to make the change. Uh, you see the truth now. Look at how she's reflecting. She's getting ready is she holding scissors? No, she's holding a sword, but look, she's cutting her hair with that sword. So this is even about you taking a change as, as uh, small as cutting your hair. You know, um, go for it. Do it. Spirit is saying it's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to make the change. Only you can change it. You're at a... Um, the uh, precipice of a brand new beginning. You're at the start of something fabulous, something new. Um, it is something that your soul needs you to do. So, you know, do what you need to do for you. Uh, let's see. Spirit, what can Aquarius be mindful of as they're going through this? I feel like you're really exhausted right now. Your energy is drained. And with that, the big Cosmo blast this week, we're all feeling that, especially um, us air signs, I feel like. Uh, so, you know, I feel like um, Spirit is also saying here to take some care, give some love to yourself. Um, you know, you do have this Queen of Cups down here in your emotional ca um, cavity. So this could also indicate you taking a pause, taking time, caring, your, caring for yourself, nurturing your soul, nurturing your spirit, pausing because you've had this big epiphany, you've had this big, you know, um, revelation, and it's, it's, it's drained you, it's completely exhausted you. So you have to tend to your, yourself, care for yourself, that six of cups, balance out that energy, and, uh, uh, get through that and then um, you can start to slowly move forward so the collective I have felt this in between energy which um, intentions this in oh, I think that's 10 11 that in between energy I have felt this in between energy for the collective this past couple of weeks um, throughout uh, the shadow period of Mercury and you know going into Mercury retrograde and I feel like um, you are you're a part of that I mean we're we're all attached so connected interconnected so I feel like um, you are in the in-between of something right now and now um, spirit has been echoing that during this time while we're in this in-between space to nurture ourselves to care for ourselves to tend to our bodies our souls our spirit um, the other day, I was getting some downloads, and I literally tasted the water in my in my download, in my meditation. Like, I felt it go down my throat. I tasted it. So, I know that Spirit is saying, um, as we're in this in-between moment, we need to be nurturing our bodies, feeding ourselves water. Water is vitally important right now for all of us. So water and um, good fruits and vegetables, I'm hearing, taking care of the body, um, the mind, the soul, the spirit. This is a time of temperance, alchemizing, healing. Um, so nurturing ourselves, right? Because we're all on the brink of a brand new beginning. And we know this because this was a collective thing. It didn't, it didn't just happen to me or, you know, or you or, or whatever. It happened to all of us. So we're all feeling drained and depleted. And, you know, we've, we, um, some of us though, some of us in Aquarius, my dear friend, I do believe you are one of the few, um, you know, the fixed signs and, uh, 
you know, a couple of the others, Gemini's, etc. But um, some of us are, you know, had to push through a lot more, maybe. Um, so we have up and out. Okay. To heal the parts of me that feel hurt, I must feel every emotion. It has come up to come out. I don't try to push my feelings away. I sit with them and feel them as I release them. Now you've seen it. You've seen it and you're releasing now. So do take care of yourself, Aquarius. All right, let's get you some charms. This concludes your reading, Aquarius. If you like it, please hit that subscribe button. All those jazzy little buttons down there, they help the channel grow. And that is so important to me. I can't do it without you. So please do hit those um, beautiful buttons. Um, also, leave me those comments. I love to get to know you, talk with you, uh, share, and please join us over on Facebook Mondays Live, 11 a.m. All right, so you got the ring. So this is about a, a commitment, some sort of commitment that you made. I, I, I feel like, though, you're leaving behind some sort of commitment. Like the commitment has ran its course is what I really feel with this energy, especially with the outcome up here. I feel like that, you know, you're it's ran its course. You're taking some of it with you, but the chapter is ended, right? Um, for, for some of you. Now, for others of you, this could be really about you revamping that relationship. And if that's the case, it's a new commitment. Uh, you may get engaged or something. Look at this. Look at this. You have the little uh, umbrella with the holes in it. So I feel like it's a time, this indicates that it's time for you to um, shelter yourself, but also let that energy in. You know, find that balance, that harmony. This indicates that balance and harmony, I feel like with the letting a little bit in and um, keeping a little bit out. So take it how it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. But all right, Aquarius, this concludes your reading. Until next time, take great care of yourself. And as always, may your love and kindness boomerang back to you. Bye-bye.